Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini, the source, and I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime and games. And we're back with another anime reaction video. And for today's video, we're going to head back into Tower of God, getting into episode six. Really excited. I can't wait to get into it. And of course, I want to thank you guys for joining in on this journey. Now, if you happen to like the content so far, or if you've seen any of the other content and you enjoy it, definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. In addition, all my links are in the description below. There you can get access to my website and you get access to some of the beats and the other content on the channel. And if you're looking for exclusive content or if you want early access to these kinds of videos, head on over to the Patreon page because that's where I put all of my content as long, along with exclusive music production content as well. Very excited to get into it. Episode six of Tower of God. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of my reaction. And at the end, of course, I'm gonna break down one of my favorite moments from this episode from music standpoint. So stay tuned to the end and enjoy the reaction. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Wait, was that Bam? That was weird. Yeah, she did. Hmm. Yeah, what is their connection? I'm hoping we learn a lot about this stuff. That would be very cool. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Very curious to see where this is going to turn out. Are they two people, but they're actually one person? Oh, that's kind of the vibe that I got from this. Oh. <laughs> Only a handsome one? <laughs> ah. Oh, I want to know this too. I want to know these things. Come on. Oh. Dang. Bam's going to feel broken then after all of this. Oh. It's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a really fun game. Oh. It's pretty cool. These are really cool. All right. Scout, huh? Oh. I wonder what position they're going to get. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, good question. I was thinking the same thing. Is Kuhn going to actually lie? He probably is. Oh, man. Wow, he really lied. That's going to be really interesting. I'm liking this whole thing with Mysterious with Rachel and Bam, though. It's pretty cool. But dang, I kind of wish he didn't lie. Bam is like, yeah, I know it's you. Why'd you lie? They must be one person. That's kind of my guess from all of this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. That music. Mm. Wow. So Kuhn can relate. Obviously, with his situation. Dang, he's going to be really aggressive about this now. Which is not fair. A contract? Wow. You know, I just realized... <laughs> I'm going to pause this real quick. <laughs> I didn't realize what that thing was. I thought that was just some item. Is That thing is actually talking to them? <laughs> That's really fun. <laughs> Yo, and only anime, you, you'll see stuff like this. That's so funny. <laughs> Yo, what is that? Like a rice ball of some sort? So is this thing basically a part of the tower? I'm going to assume so. That's what it looks like. Oh, I also like the voice of this thing. Oh, wow. That was easy. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say it was easy, but. Oh, that was that girl from before. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, bam. You need to learn how to control your power. Wow. 
Is it so wrong to extend a helping hand to the weak? That's actually a good quote. But we don't know if he's really weak. Oh. Oh. Duffy felt that. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's tough. What? What? Wait. So we're not going to see Rack anymore? I hope we see Rack again. It wasn't really clear if he's going to come back or not. Oh, that would be annoying. What a way to get him out of this. That must be Bam's other half, or whatever that is. Because it looks like him. Or she looks like him. Oh, and I just... Whoa. Those dark figures kind of look like uh, outlines of Bam. some of Bam's friends. I could have been wrong there. <laughs> Your stubble is prickly. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you did. Okay, but she does have the black mark, though. Will the black mark return to Bam? That's going to be something interesting, too. Okay. I could definitely see this being a friend group. <laughs> I sense it already. This is pretty cool. Oh, la la. <laughs> hmm, here we go. A second one. No, that weapon's gonna come right back to him. I already see this. I already see this. It's pretty obvious. Will Anak join this friend group, though? Oh, two princesses of Jihad. Hmm. Oh, that's a bad way of putting it, though. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh-oh. Let's see how this is gonna turn out. Oh, you already knew they were going <laughs> to be the ones to get into it. Oh, information on Rack. That's cool. I hope Rack comes back. Oh, good. I'm going to assume there's a lot of information on her. Yep, we all know that already. That's pretty obvious. Dang. Already dead? What? Oh. So no wonder she has some sort of hatred in her heart. That's what I sense with this. Oh. Oh. She don't want to hear that. Oh. Dang. They're going in. Why are they going in like this? <laughs> this is tough. Oh, what? Yo, so that's Anak, oh, the real Anak. Oh, I see. This makes much more sense. Wow, dang, it's over. I know, I know. Hey guys, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that set of uh, reactions to this episode. And uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on, man. And um, for today's music analysis, I guess I really just wanted to kind of explore Rachel a little bit from a music standpoint. Because this episode definitely featured, obviously, a knack, but it also featured Rachel pretty heavily. And we learned a little bit more about her and all of that. So there were some different stuff going on in different scenes with the music and um i got a chance to rewatch the episodes and i found some cool stuff going on so let's check it out so the first thing that i noticed is i'll actually put this full screen for y'all and um i'm gonna play this real quick and you're gonna notice this is kind of the beginning of this episode and you're gonna hear kind of a very calming guitar going on if you guys can hear it this is the beginning of the episode, pretty much. So it's pretty cool. It's like a string sort of guitar instrument going on. 
and you can hear it, and it's very calm, but it's also playing in a minor scale because you can hear it. And uh, so it's almost like it's like calm, but yet there's some sort of mysteriousness to it. So we're going to let this rock again. And then obviously it gets to this scene. And then we're going to kind of let this rock because you're going to continue to hear more of the music, right? Because it's all about Rachel right now. And listen closely. You can still hear the same thing going on with the guitar very lightly. But notice how it's slower, right? And now they even use a different instrument. And um, you're going to notice it's almost the same melody, just slower. And still gives you that mysterious vibe with that weird, ominous kind of sound going on in the background as well. So I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but... See, you can hear that. So obviously they're kind of talking about just everything going on with her and why she can't be with Bam. And you hear the same thing almost. Very similar style. But now a different instrument. And you just hear mysteriousness to it. And I thought that was pretty cool. And now listen to how the strings just kind of come in. Right? pretty cool and then this little part here you notice how there's like once again it's called a crescendo where the music just gets louder but as it gets louder they do this thing kind of like a pitch bend which is basically where you take a note and you kind of just slowly change the pitch over time and it gives it that cool effect so it goes <laughs> sounds funny on my voice but that's what's going on here so it kind of to me symbolizes that once again there's a sense of hopefulness, but then it's also a reminder that there's a lot of mystery revolved around Bam and Rachel's story. So, it's pretty cool. So it does that. It stops for a second. And then we're going to stop that there. So, I thought that was pretty cool, but we're going to hop into the next scene, which features a little bit more of Rachel, because you're going to notice every time Rachel pops up, there's a very similar recurring theme going on, and I thought that was pretty cool. So let's hop into the next scene so, you know, I can show you guys that as well. All right, y'all. So we're going to play this here, and this scene doesn't actually feature Rachel, but I want you to pay attention to the music here because it, whenever they talk about Rachel, I notice, it kind of keeps that recurring vibe of that mysteriousness, and I thought that was so cool. So in this situation, you know... You're just hearing string instruments playing very, very simple, simple phrase here. And they're going to hear that one instrument playing. <laughs> Same thing. Kind of keeps going. And you can feel the mysteriousness of this as it's going on. Now I'm going to pause this because you see how all of a sudden, once again, it just gets kind of louder and it kind of brings you in. Now it's centered on Bam's thoughts about um, Rachel. So let's continue this. It's just a really nice sound. Now we'll get to this scene here. But. I want you guys to notice, I don't know if you can tell, ever so slowly, there are certain elements of the first uh, theme that we listen to that is within this. It may not be exactly the same, but there are certain parts of the music that actually resembles that first phrase. So that, that one phrase where it's basically you have the strings kind of playing just eighth notes where they're just going dun 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 dun, right? So... You know, if you go back to the scene, um, let me see if I can go back here. You're gonna listen very closely. You heard that in the the first part um, that I showed you before. So things are playing. Pretty cool. You get to Rachel now. See, you hear it right here.
So now you have this new melody that's kind of taking over and now it's giving that sense of uh you know the fact that they're really close to each other so right now bam could literally open the door to go to rachel but he ends up not doing that and now listen to the music and see how that you know kind of expresses that emotion of them being so close to each other and that's just really written narrated basically by the way the strings are kind of just i would basically describe it as floating over the the chords here so go listen to that let this rock yeah very interesting very interesting stuff definitely interesting stuff all right so now for the final part of this um episode or at least the third time we kind of see rachel here um i want you guys to pay attention again we're gonna play this and we're gonna kind of just walk through it so now you kind of hear just piano simple simple nothing going on too much but once again you noticed every time one of the things I notice is that every time Rachel, something involving Rachel, it always starts with some sort of orchestral string lead-in of some sort. You're going to hear a string instrument that starts soft, and then they get louder into the kind of the, the music here. So that's something that I've, I've also noticed. So we're going to kind of keep this running. Now, what's really interesting about this is that this scene obviously shows Rachel, but it also shows another girl. Now, that girl looks straight up like Bam, so I'm going to assume that that's some girl that's really connected to Bam, right? But notice how there's a sense of like, I don't know what emotion, but you feel a sense of like almost real happiness in a way, but not really because what if you notice you have the strings playing like this nice little soft melody and but then right under it you have a bunch of strings kind of playing some really interesting like notes i i can't really pinpoint i'm going to listen to it again real quick as we listen along but you're going to notice it doesn't sound right it's almost as if they're conflicting with each other and to me that resembles the confliction that right now rachel's having with bam and the fact that they technically can't see each other and on top of that, you see the different shadow figures that show some of Bam's, which I'm going to assume are going to be Bam's friends because it, it, it just looks like that. So let's continue with that. You see, you listen to the strings under. Now, <laughs> my favorite part of this is that melody where it does that cool, you know, it, it does that little, um, let me go back to it because I really like that part. It was really cool. I got to listen to it again. <laughs> It goes da -na 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 -na. so it's almost like a sense of resolve at the end here so let's let this rock hopefully this will play for y'all you see that that's really cool it's almost like a sense of resolve there um Pretty much. And that, and the way you know that's a sense of resolve because those strings are kind of playing. You hear the chords and it basically ends on a um, major scale. Or a ma yeah, a major, not scale, but a major chord. And that, that note that that string plays to kind of end it off kind of, you know, you can hear that really well. Um, and how do you know that? Because that sense of resolve. Major scales, like major scales in general are happy. Major chords, they have this kind of sense of relief kind of feeling when you listen to a major scale um or a major chord that's what they usually sound like so usually any song that ends on that is basically resolving whatever phrase i was going on that's kind of a very basic breakdown of that of course you, there's way more theory and stuff behind that but i'm just trying to break it down for perspective for you guys to kind of understand but um i just really thought that was interesting um so i think the theme is over after this right yeah so we're going to end it there, y'all. Um, I thought it was just interesting just listening to the music when it comes to um, to Rachel. Because I think Rachel's obviously going to be the center point of this entire anime. So, you know, listening to the music, uh, 
I'm just curious to know what her role is from a music standpoint. And when you listen to the music, you can hear some of the different elements that show a sense of mystery, but then a sense of relief. And it's almost kind of pulling you back and forth on, well, is there really a resolve or is there really not? Like, who is Rachel? Why isn't Rachel, you know, Rachel's right there. She This this whole anime could technically be over if Bam and Rachel just got together happily ever after. But no, there's more mysterious to it. And when you listen to the music, it kind of indicates that as well. So that's interesting. And you see me kind of rocking back and forth. But uh, that that's kind of how I, the vibe that I got. So, you know, if you watch this segment, let me know what you guys think of all of that. Like when you're listening to this or when you watch this episode, did you guys get the same feelings? Definitely put your thoughts in the comments below because I think that will be really, really cool, man. And, um, you know, I, I, me being producer, of course, I'm, I love paying attention to just the different elements in the, in the music that makes these scenes kind of go. Even though I do hip hop and all this stuff, I just love, you know, listening to sounds in general. It's what makes these uh, shows like this very cool. So I look forward to the next episode and I look forward to listening to more interesting stuff with different characters for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this music segment. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the content or if you're interested in seeing more, first of all, definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. I drop videos like this every week <laughs> pretty much and of course don't forget guys i am a music producer so not only do i do stuff like this but i also drop beats um beats can be used for anybody whether you want to use it for your own channel uh for mixtapes rappers musicians content creators whatever music you want just visit my website my website you can see it somewhere on the screen probably i'm looking at the camera i'm pointing but y'all can see it on the screen as well it's www.imdesource.com dot com i can't wait to watch the next couple of episodes of tower of god i'm enjoying this anime so far so i look forward to bringing you guys more so with that being said of course i am out of here and before i go i also want to let you guys to don't forget to also check out the links in the description because if you are also interested well you can get more of the reaction content and you can get exclusive music production content if you head on over to the patreon page so it'll be very very cool and i look forward to connecting with you guys there so definitely go give that a check if you are interested so with that being said y'all my name is robertini this source and don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. Until the next video, I am out.